uh, after the production of the bricks, uh, you should put it on the pallet for uh, one night. Uh, to the pallet, so let it dry. Uh, after one night, the bricks is will become stronger. Okay, yeah. but not so strong. Not so strong. But strong enough, you can get them away. And after, okay, after one night, uh, you separate the bricks to here. Here, okay. This is the after one day. It's more stronger. Okay. Of course, you can change the different size of the wood. This is the China standard bricks. And in Zimbabwe and in South, uh, South Africa, the brick size is a little different. Yeah, the, the brick size is different for Zimbabwe and South Africa is different as well. But I'm going to speak specifically about the Zimbabwe type of brick. Uh, for the Zimbabwe type of brick, you can make uh, 36 of this on, onto one pallet. So you just need to, to put this after, after the production, you just need to put this on, on the pallets for one night and then the next day you can move them and keep them together. So you can actually see that the process is faster than manual labor. So you can actually use the machine. If you, uh, maybe the video man is going to show you the ones behind you, the ones, those are ready for sale. So it's actually easy, the process is actually easy. So you can choose our machines to, to, to make the, the, the blocks for you. Yes. Uh, the, new, the bricks by, made by the uh, machine use hydraulic and strong operation. So it's stronger than the manual way. Uh, it's time and the tending, tending is a trance for the production change uh, from the manual way to the brick machine, uh, the good brick machine. Uh, if you need to analyze the cost and benefit, we can give you a study list. Come, come, contact us for your study of the how to set up a brick machine and the uh, benefit cost. Please, yes.